the smile on my face. I'm currently in a DB11 V8 4.0 liter. Yep, same engine. Got it from Daimler, but can you see the smile, guys? Oh my gosh! I, 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 oh my god! Please I, leave the roundabout at the second exit. Oh, oh my gosh! I, I'm so speechless, so starstruck. Man, oh, okay, so specs first, okay? 503 horsepower, 513 pounds of torque. And uh, yeah, <laughs> oh my god, I don't know why I'm swelling so much. It's amazing. Um, I haven't, I just got out of Aston Martin and um, yeah, heading towards the roads, but the feel of this car, can you hear that? Well, I'm gonna play with so many things later, but yeah, right now, just going when I started. Man, I'm looking at my wheel arches at the back, it's so pronounced. Woo! My gosh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay guys, so being in this car, it's amazing and I'm driving in the UK. This is so unbelievable. Oh my god, such... So grateful, thank you so much. And just being in this car puts a smile on my face. I'm not sure if you saw, that was me smiling like an idiot. Yes. And after knowing so much about Aston Martin, as a newfound respect for them about their philosophy, meeting the employees, meeting Matt Becker, which is the chief engineer, uh, meeting Miles, no, sorry, I cannot get his name, but meeting Miles, the chief uh, designer, and as well, Nikki Remington, which is the chief planning officer and vice president. And their philosophies of the car, their direction, they know specifically where they are heading to, century plan. It's amazing. And I have an MX-5 NA behind me. What? This is really amazing. Oh, I can't believe it. And I am supposed to go 50 miles per hour. So yes, there's speed limit here. But being inside the car, I feel so snug. Yes, it's the DB11 Coupe. So you can see this is my headroom. I have... Um, even for me, I'm 160cm and I have this much of headroom or should I say this little headroom and um, I feel so snug, I actually love the feeling of being inside the car I love the wheel arches, I can see the wheel arches it's so pronounced, I feel so, I feel so amazing it is really the philosophy of beautiful, elegant, premium it's, it's, it's really something else of the car once I got it to start, once I started driving it, it's so torquey in its nature. Yeah, so the DB11 is said to be a gentleman's car. So it looks like a gentleman and it's supposed to drive like a gentleman, which honestly, I feel that it is because I feel that this car can go, but you can also choose not to. It's like, I can go, I can go fast, I can make sounds, but I choose not to and uh, you know, that's how the gentleman is really like. And I, when I first looked at the steering wheel, I thought maybe I wouldn't like it. It's a weird shape. And, but now, behind the wheel, I actually like it. I actually really like the feel of it. Um, yeah, and the driving dynamics of this thing. Man, if I could go faster, I would. But I'm already like 6 miles above the speed limit, so I'm slowing down. I'm going to try out the... Uh, Sports. Now I'm in GT. I just I just changed to sport. Mobile speed camera is okay. I'm gonna slow down a bit. I think I'm the only one going abiding the speed limit, but okay, it's fine. So yeah, I'm at sport right now. Spot Plus, oh yes, yeah, Spot Plus is the one that you want. But because I cannot accelerate, you cannot hear me. But let's try downshifting. very well 
well even though it's a coupe you know but coupe it feels like you're very snug you're hugged into the car but my visibility is great the back wheel arches actually help I can see uh, it, it does feel like a very wide um, car but man the smile on my face guys amazing really driving this car around really gives me that sensation though a bit atas, you know? I feel a bit... I feel like I want to do better in life. I feel the need to want to... to want to plan my second century plan as well. <laughs> what I want to achieve in my next century. Oh my gosh! The, dr the driving feel of this car is amazing. It really is amazing. But why am I still bounded to 50 miles per hour? Okay, and the driving roads, oh man, okay, I'm going to slow down quite a bit right now because I want to try, let's see what suspension I'm on, sport mode, sport plus mode, GT mode, okay, I'm just going to put both my suspensions in sport plus mode, okay, and uh, let's floor it. It's actually 
very linear and then suddenly it breaks but I actually love the brakes on this and I wish, I really wish I could go faster but I can't but driving, it's amazing this is really another feel I feel like it's a step up from all the cars that I've driven before oh, the, brake. the brakes are so good it's really something that I have never experienced before because it's how do I ex the brakes even the brakes have a premium feel to it it feels as though you're braking it feels as though you're braking and you are and the input it feels as though you're braking the input that you give and it's it's really quite effortless but it does show that you're braking it's amazing and that you know how the feel of you being premium is how sometimes you touch certain things and you just know that it has a premium feel same thing alright driving this car around it's it's so perfect I I find, you know how when we review cars, we find certain things that we don't like about it or we talk about how good it is but this car is making me so speechless because I mean, yeah, there's wind noise and um, I, I guess that's about it. Everything else feels so perfect and it has that little bit of fun in it as well. That, oh, tail comes out a bit. It's like, wow, wow, oh, that little, oh, and that car which gives you the security that no worries I have your back it, the tail came out a bit but it caught back pretty fast so 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 nice to drive I've been driving it for an hour now very nice drive prepare to turn left and then immediately turn right it's onto just, Fosway it's just the um it's just the the speed limit but if I had no speed limit I'm telling you it was so fun to drive and um So I've driven the DV11 and I've driven the Vantage back to back and um, after understanding more, I get why they made the cars as it is. So the GT is a Grand Tourer. As I said in my video, it's very comfortable when you go over bumps, you don't really feel that. The wheels go over it but um, the, you don't feel it in the car. However, the Vantage is, is a, definitely a sportier feel and to me currently, I love the sportier feel but then again, that's how it's... That's how it is different. That's how the GT, why the GT drives like that because it is a GT and why the Vantage drives like that. So it's a sportier feel for the Vantage and the GT is more more comfortable, more sophisticated drive. Vantage is definitely sportier and I like how they differentiated um, both of them because sometimes when you go into cars you're like, huh, like Mazda is Mazda's handling is always very on point, very nice, but the thing is, it's the same. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just an example. However, when you go into Aston Martins, it's very distinctive that a GT drives in a certain way and a car like the Vantage drives in a certain way and I think that's, that's very interesting. It's just different and uh, yeah, DB11 has its own character, Vantage has its own character.